What did darts players do before they were known in the darts world? Although some had normal jobs, others were already known in the top sports world. Today, we reveal all the players you didn't know that were already famous in other sports. In the world of professional darts, there are players who have dedicated their lives to mastering the sport from an early age. But every once in a while, a player emerges who brings a diverse background and a unique set of skills to the hockey. One such player is Gerwin Price, a Welsh professional darts player who was left an indelible mark on the game. Born on March 7th, 1985, Price's journey to becoming a prominent figure in the darts world began in a completely different sporting arena, rugby. Before he stepped onto the dart stage, Price made a name for himself as a talented rugby union player. As a hooker, he showcased his skills for Welsh Premier Division sides Neath and Cross Keys, leaving a lasting impression with his tenacity and dedication to the game. Price's versatility extended beyond rugby union, as he also ventured into rugby league, representing the South Wales Scorpions and the Blackwood Bulldogs. His undeniable talent led him to be capped by the Wales Dragonhearts, a testament to his proficiency in both codes of the sport. Price even had a brief stint with the Pro 12 side Glasgow Warriors, stepping in as injury cover for their first choice players. Throughout his rugby career, Price experienced some remarkable achievements. One notable highlight came during his time with Cross Keys as they clinched the prestigious 2011-12 WRU Challenge Cup. It was a crowning moment for Price who made his mark on the final by scoring a memorable try. However, as fate would have it, Price reached a crossroads in his sporting journey. In 2014, he made the difficult decision to bid farewell to rugby and embrace a new challenge, professional darts. With a burning passion for the game and an unwavering commitment to success, Price chose to concentrate on playing darts full time, leaving behind a rugby career that had already brought him considerable acclaim. Price's resilience and relentless pursuit of excellence were further evidenced when he announced a debut boxing fight in February 2022. Scheduled to take place in his hometown of Blackwood, Wales, Price intended to demonstrate his versatility and combat prowess. Unfortunately, the fight was delayed due to an injury, prompting him to withdraw on medical advice. Despite the setback, Price's intent to test his mettle in yet another discipline showcased his fearlessness and thirst for new challenges. Don't forget to hit the bullseye so you never miss out on any of our amazing darts videos. Meet Hempel, a remarkable darts player whose journey to the professional circuit took an unexpected turn through the world of handball. Hailing from Dessau, East Germany, Hempel began his sporting career as a goalkeeper in handball, showcasing his skill with SG Kunau before moving on to the Dessau Roslauer HV in the 2010-11 handball Bundesliga season. Although his time in the division was brief, Hempel continued to pursue his passion for handball, making a couple more appearances in the third tier. Despite his dedication, Hempel's handball career didn't yield the success he had hoped for. Recognising the importance of holistic development, he pursued educational studies in Cologne, where he delved into the realms of fitness coaching and nutrition. In 2016, he made the difficult decision to bid farewell to handball and embrace a new challenge, darts. The transition from the fast-paced, team-oriented world of handball to the precision-focused solo game of darts was undoubtedly a significant leap for Hempel. However, armed with determination and a competitive spirit, he set his sights on the PDC. In 2019, Hempel seized his opportunity to make a mark on the PDC European Tour. Making his debut at the prestigious Dutch Darts Masters, he showcased his talent and dedication, leaving a lasting impression on fans and fellow players. This breakthrough performance was just the beginning of Hempel's journey in the world of professional darts. Through countless hours of practice, perseverance, and a relentless drive for improvement, Hempel's skills on the dartboard continue to flourish. His unwavering commitment paid off in 2021, when he earned his PDC Tour card, granting him the opportunity to compete among the best in the sport on a regular basis. It was a significant milestone in Hempel's career, validating his decision to leave behind handball and pursue his newfound passion for darts. Jack Mayne, a determined darts player who once harboured dreams of becoming a professional footballer. However, fate had other plans in store for him. A devastating knee injury shattered his hopes of a career on the football pitch, leaving him in despair. But little did he know that this setback would lead him down a remarkable path in the world of professional darts. With just four years of picking up a set of darts, the 24-year-old has managed to carve out a name for himself in the competitive realm of darts. 
recently, he received a significant breakthrough when he was awarded his first tour card by the prestigious Professional Darts Corporation. Jack's journey began with a passion for football. As a young lad, he showcased promising skills and even had the opportunity to play for Norwich. However, after being released from the club, he found solace in joining the ranks of Lowestoft. His dreams of signing with their first team were tantalizingly close when tragedy stuck. I snapped my kneecap in three places. My knee was an absolute goner, Jack recalled, recounting the fateful injury that forever altered the course of his life. The severity of the damage led to his premature retirement at the tender age of 20. It seemed that his sporting aspirations had reached an unfortunate end. But Jack's competitive spirit refused to be extinguished. Determined to find a new path, he turned his attention to darts. It didn't take long for him to discover his innate talent for the game. With each throw of the dart, he felt a renewed sense of purpose and excitement. Jack set an ambitious goal for himself to turn professional within five years. Unbeknownst to him, his meteoric rise to the top would be even swifter. Against Against all odds, Jack secured his professional status after just three and a half years of dedicated practice and unwavering commitment. His exceptional performance in the PDC's Q School Order of Merit propelled him to victory, despite participating in only three out of the four days of play. Now residing in Norwich, Jack Main finds himself in esteemed company among the renowned faces of darts. Sharing the ranks with him is former BDO world champion Scott Mitchell, who also embarked on his maiden journey with the PDC Tour. Moreover, the legendary Raymond Van Barneveld makes a remarkable return to the sport 14 months after his retirement. In the world of darts, there are players whose journeys began in unexpected places, and Nathan Aspinall is one such player with a captivating background. His sporting ventures didn't originate on the hockey, but rather on the football pitch. When asked about his goalkeeping roots, there's no hint of irony or modesty in Aspinall's response. His foray into football was a serious pursuit, one that instilled in him a natural competitive edge that would later propel his career in darts. While many focus on Aspinall's decision to trade in accounting for arrows, his story goes beyond that. Born in Stockport, the young shot stopper's tale may have been short-lived, but he believes it's played a vital role in shaping his career path. Recalling those early days, Aspinall shared, I got scouted to play at Manchester United Goalkeeping Academy, which served as a feeder club for Manchester United and other prominent clubs. I even received contract offers from Rangers when I was only nine years old. I played for Stockport County and underwent trials with them. Football was Aspinall's dream, as it is for many children. He confessed, every kid wants to be a footballer. However, despite his aspirations, things didn't work out as planned. Aspinall reached a semi-professional level, but fell short of his ultimate goal. Reflecting on his release, Aspinall admitted, if I was a little bit taller, I could have made it. I got released because I was considered too small for a goalkeeper. I wasn't tall enough. Meeting legendary goalkeeper Edwin van der Sar recently brought clarity to a situation, as Aspinall humorously noted, now I realise why I didn't make it, because he's about 19 feet tall. Although his football dreams didn't materialise, Aspinall believes that everything happens for a reason. It may have been a disappointment at the time, but he now sees it as a blessing in disguise. The switch from one sporting environment to another was a pivotal moment for Aspinall. Despite transitioning to darts, Aspinall still straws upon the drive and adrenaline cultivated in team sports like football. He recalls the abrupt end to his football career when he threw his gloves in the bin after a heartbreaking FA Cup defeat. I love sports, any type, Aspinall confessed. Paul, snooker, I'm a big golfer and obviously football as well. I hate losing. I'm so competitive. The experience of playing at a high level in a different sport gave Aspinall an extra will to win in darts. He shared this sentiment with fellow player Gerwin Price, stating, I think like Gezi, if you've played at a high level in a different sport, when you come into darts, you already have that little bit of extra drive to win compared to other people. Don't forget to hit the bullseye so you never miss out on any of our amazing darts videos. See you next time.